So your list is created now, and this is the list area of MailChimp. If you click on your list that you'd like to edit, it will take you to you know, some other things. If you want to change a few things about it, settings and things like that, this is where you would do it. So if you want to edit the list name or some other defaults, click through there. And what we're going to change is the send a final welcome email. This is where you would click to turn that on. This is great for content delivery. If you're sending out a file or a link or an ebook or um, login information for a membership site, that is the email that they will send, but you have to turn it on in MailChimp. So if you click on that, then that will allow you to then create, well, you can create it anyway, but if you want to send it, you actually have to have that turned on. So when you're in your list, if you click on your desired list that you want to access and click on sign up forms and just click on any of these. Okay, so if you're going to create a form, this is going to be the first interaction, let me scroll down here, that they're going to have with your company. So we talked a little bit about that in another video, if you've seen it, if not, I'll link to it um, below, but basically you can edit all of this to be gorgeous and then you can click on this drop down above after this is all prettified and you can edit them to match the same theme so for example there could be like a confirmation email that they're gonna get which is pretty standard for MailChimp they're gonna send this they like that uh, double authentication so you can add the you know edit your stuff here same banner if you want similar text um, colors, I think you can change fonts, and then you can go down to the final welcome email, which is a great place to put something that, that they can use, right? So this is the, this is the delivery, if you're giving them something, this is a great place to put that link to whatever lead magnet or, or object that you have. Um, lead pages does this automatically for you, so if you have that system, you don't even need this, but this is if you're just bootstrapping with MailChimp. So you can go in here and you can design it. Um, yeah, well, I don't know. Is that design what I'm looking for? Yeah. Okay. So this is where you edit things, and that's that's what I was trying to show you. Um, yeah. So this this can be more content. This could be more instructions. If it was some sort of like a login that they needed after they finished signing up for this newsletter then you would give them that login information in the final welcome email. And there's all these other kinds of things that you can um, customize so that they match the theme of your website. And that, that continuity all the way through all of the different things that you, uh, that they contact you or that they um, are experiencing from your brand is really powerful. It, it, it shows that you've put a lot of effort into um, making the experience good for your users. So if you have those kinds of things that you need to include in those newsletters, or I guess not a newsletter, but in the end of their sign up, then you would edit this here in the subscription. Similarly, in all of these other categories, you can click on these. And if they were giving you a goodbye, like they unsubscribed, yeah, why not send them one last email saying, you know, we removed your email list. And then if you, you know, they can subscribe again if they, you know, this was a mistake. But you could also put some sort of like, hey, if there's any problem, um, reply to this email and, you know, tell us why you unsubscribed. Whatever you want to put, you know, throw that in there. But that can be a good way to um, retain subscribers. Or you could ask them, you know, what is a challenge you're facing right now that maybe, you know, we can help you with. In this last email, this is your last contact with them. They're leaving you. You might as well try it. So I hope this helps some of you guys out there that are looking on how to design those welcome emails and get your content into the hands of your users through MailChimp.